Yeah, 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 yeah. Black and yellow on my jersey. Yeah, the Steelers we shutting it down. King of my city, I'm taking the crown. We putting in work without making a sound. And we came from the bottom. Yeah, we got them sick like the flu. Uh. What's going on, guys? Zoe 19! Bum bum bam! Fellas, new season! Holy schmoly, I love you guys all. Thank you so much for the support. If you guys are rocking with me despite the heartbreaking loss, just do me a huge favor and kill a like button. Let me know. That one, that one stung, man. I'm not gonna lie. I, I feel like that may have been one of the toughest losses um, that I've had. I just played stupid. I literally, I had the middle of the field. I messed up. I left it open. Um... But it is what it is. I'm not the type of person who's going to sit here and just like, oh, I lost. I give up. No, I'm, I'm going to be back. I don't, I don't care that I've lost three straight Super Bowls to the same guy. I don't care. We're back. I love this team. I felt like we should have won. And I feel like we are just, hey, his team's getting older. Russell Wilson lost his abilities, um, lost his superstar X factor, which is a huge positive. He still has escape artist, um, which is good for him, which will be very, very helpful. But his, oh, we got Dalvin. Oh my gosh, what the heck kind of a freaking trade was that? Oh my goodness. Okay, well, whatever. I'm, I'm not too worried. We also, one interesting thing, and I think I'm assuming he'll play the entire league, is um, the Giants, which I don't know if we play the Giants, is Micah Parsons. Micah Parsons is in the league um, as the Giants. So that, those are all the things that I need to talk about. Bam, bam, Melvin Burris. It's a new season. The draft is here. I'm looking for corners. Um, free agency, there's tons of corners. We got money to spend, but also when you're good at like, this is the toughest thing. When you're good at progressing players, these types of the year aren't very fun. I know a lot of people love to like get into these massive free agency bidding wars and just like go absolutely stupid. I'm just, I'm not one of those people. To me in free agency, like oh, there's some studs. Cooper, Godwin, like all these guys are beasts, but like there's just so much money. Like there's no way... I could ever afford any of them. And I probably could get that top bid, but when you look at some of these top bids, they can be kind of crazy. Like guys like that I would look for are guys like Chenault. Like just the cheaper players, Elijah Moore, to me, that's kind of an interesting one. Four years out of Ole Miss, I feel like he could be a good player. I'm gonna throw a low ball at Chenault. A one year, just kind of a garbage deal, if I'm being honest. I don't really expect him to take it. I don't really need any of those. The position of need is corner. Um, Shaquille Griffin would be really nice. Patrick Sertan's in free agency. This Mike Hughes is in free agency. And we lost some corners in the draft, which makes things really tough. Byron Jones, I lost him. Jonathan Jones is still kicking around. It's freaking doggy dog, but I need, I need some speed out here. I lost a ton of corners, so I need to at least bid on some of these guys. And just cross our freaking fingers. How low am I going to have to go here? Fabian Moreau, I lost last season. I'm going to try and enjoy. And honestly, because it's the Seahawks, I'll feel much better about myself. Yeah. He he threw a low ball. I, I He didn't want to re-sign with me, but I'd, I'd love to have him back on the team. Let me throw a bit out at him. Okay. I'd be happy if I could bring him back to the team. Malik Hooker. Oof. KB is kicking around. KB probably wants a lot of money. He doesn't really, he's got, he's, he's a very smart, this is interesting, when we look at free agency, man, I would consider, honestly, I would consider bidding on him, like, I, I'm, I'm not even kidding, I would consider bringing in Shaquille, that's a lot of money, like, let me go maybe 7.2, I would be quite happy, yes, he's older, but I do feel like he adds a lot of value on a one-year deal. That money's not going to do much for me if it's just sitting there. I'm, I'm, I'm cool offering on Shaquille Griffin. Justin Simmons is a good awareness guy. Um, big. He's only 85 speed, which is definitely... It's always sunny in May. He's 32. He's getting up there in years. Yeah, he definitely... He doesn't He doesn't have a lot of a lot left. Okay, so these guys are on... We'll, it's, it advances in about 10 minutes, so we'll kind of see what happens from here on out, but... Yeah, it's gonna, it'll be interesting to see if we can, I, I just, I need help on the secondary. Okay, guys, update. Uh, there's three minutes to go. Okay, yeah, I just got way outbidded for both these guys. Who, who what even logo is that? Some, someone really wants Shaquille. I don't really ex expect, yeah, you can have, you can have it, Daryl. Let me know if you guys know where that's from. Uh, Marco Wilson. Someone's just like, 
that this is why free agency is stupid and why teams end up sucking is some people will just like they don't care what it is. And that's why you don't see me with a, just a ridiculous amount of free agency stuff. Like literally, some people will pay anything for a player. Like lit no, with no exception, they will bid whatever it freaking takes. Which I understand, but oh, it runs it up. James Bradbury, how much does he want? Ninety wants. He's actually a pretty good corner on a one-year rental. How much does he want? I would, I would bring him in just for the awareness. Marco Wilson, yeah, whoever that guy is, is just going to keep outbidding me. But the Seahawks, at least, I know I can outbid him, which makes me happy. But yeah, whatever new team that is, I'm going to have to look after. Someone obviously relocated, just continues to outbid me. No one wants Kangard Mike. No one wants uh, Keenan Allen. These poor guys, man. How much would it take to get Patrick Sertan here? I'm actually, I'm genuinely curious. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine? Can you just freaking imagine? Okay, just, I just bidded. I, how much did I offer him? 15 million? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The last second. Boom, boom, bid! Okay, so apparently Sertan was untouchable, which makes a lot more sense considering I got him for 15 million a year. Okay, Sertan was untouchable. Oh gosh, okay. This, the commissioner is gonna figure this out. We do not have Patrick Sertan. I am officially an idiot. We do, however, have Fabian Moreau. So the guy who was using, I missed the announcement. The guy who had him Oh gosh. Okay, we we he we do not have Patrick Sertan. I am stupid. <laughs> crazy trade happened. This is this is bizarre to me. Okay, I I don't know if I'm crazy. I look at the Seahawks and dude has freaking Dalvin Cook, human joystick, running back, apprentice, 98 overall. Dalvin Cook. He this is the trade. I kid you not. This is the freaking trade that went down. He traded Jerome Baker and a fourth round pick. A 28-year-old, 89-speed linebacker, and a fourth-round pick for Dalvin Cook. Am I losing my mind? I, I, am I, what are people thinking? Like, the guy's won three straight Super Bowls, and he gets this, like, absolute, probably... And I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments. Is that the worst trade you've ever seen? See, the way they're justifying it is that you have to pay him. Even if you like, even if you just get him for two years, you're getting like a top three running back with human joystick and running back apprentice. Like it to me, like it's one of the most bizarre trades I've ever seen. I feel like I'm losing my mind, but that's probably the worst trade I've ever seen in my life. Let's get to the draft. I'm not too worried about it, but oh my God. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, our pick is coming up. Like I said, we got to go freaking old school on this one. I want a fast receiver to kind of like compliment. I don't know if I necessarily need, or a fast corner. Honestly, let me look at the corners. Let's look at, let's look at some forties here. Cause I, I've already looked at the receivers forties at this point, guys, like I said, I am just going straight up. These guys might not even know what a football is. This Venable is definitely an option. He's really, really quick. I feel like he could help. He's the fastest. So the fastest here is a 437, which I would say it might be 93. I, I don't see any speed, man. I don't see any speed. It appears all the speed is gone. All the speed is gone. Demarcus, with the first pick in the first round, they select Demarcus Venable. Seahawks are on the clock. Who do they have their eye on? He's fast, okay. Honestly, he's gonna start. Uh, like I said, this this is a oof. one of those drafts. We're going we're going speed only. Oh gosh, uh, we needed we needed another young corner. I feel like I'm I'm happy with his speed. He ran well. He's not gonna develop overly fast, but it is what it is. Okay, I might try and trade up for an early two. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, our first pick. Honestly, like I I'm not happy with it, but like he is young. And like he could be a 62 overall. Like he's not bad. 93, 93. Man coverage, 
No, but like he's going to be a guy who we're going to have to develop. And I, I haven't drafted a young corner since Birmingham. Um, and Birmingham didn't start out all that special either. As far as right now, going by the I didn't scout rules, I want this Rudy guy more than anything in the world. Literally, he is the own, the fastest remaining the receiver. I've checked all of these, but we'll, we'll kind of see what happens. As long as Rudy Bowie's on here, we're good from Columbia. If not, dude, oh my gosh. If not, buckle up. Buckle up, because he's the fastest dude. This is like the total person that you have to pick. If you do no scouting, you just got to pick for speed. Nothing else matters when you unprepared. My whole scouting department is getting fired. All of them. I'm waiting. The Steelers are now on the clock. Okay. Rudy Bowie, 435, fifth in terms of receivers, 5'8, 192. The Seahawks oh, gosh. Okay. I can work with that. Rudy, Rudy Rudiker, Rudy, Ru that's like, okay, I'm chill with that, Rudy. I'm chill with that, Rudy Rudiker. Oh my gosh, he doesn't have an awareness. He doesn't have a single awareness, but he is fast. And I think that's kind of what we're missing in terms of our receiving room. I wanted to bring in one kind of relatively fast dude. Early fourth round grade, Lane Cox. I like, he might be the pick, honestly. Oh, oh, I'm up. Okay. Uh, oof, oof, oof. I'm gonna take him. He's the only person I have scouted. Welcome to the team, buddy. Normal dev, 85 speed tight end. Yeah, this this guy is could easily be replaced by like any basketball power forward. He sucked. Draft recap. Please tell me that the CPU drafted better players than I did. Okay, Deontay Bishop, defensive tackle. Um, Yo, we got more bronzes in this draft than I've ever seen in my life. Duvin Smith. Yo, oh, let's dance! In the seventh round, a 93 speed corner in the seventh round. Roman Underwood. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, look at who we play week one. Oh my gosh, Keyshawn, let's dance again, buddy. Let's freaking, honestly, and even if I, there's nothing I can gain from winning this game. If I win this game, I'm a regular season hero. If I lose this game, he continues to be just the, uh, like, my absolute kryptonite. There's nothing I can gain from beating him, in my opinion here. Improviser plus one for it. But the only thing to gain is the fact that I don't feel I'd love to get that first round by. Plus, I got a new receiver that I really, 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 really want to show off. Some new DBs. Let's go do our depth chart kind of before they hop into this season. Um, Bowie is going to get be moved up. And like, oh, we got a ton of depth here. I got to make some cuts. Yeah, no, we got a ton of depth. This, these are going to be my three receivers. Honestly, he adds a dimension that neither of those two guys have. He's just a pure speed guy, which is awesome. Juju actually saves me money. I've been waiting to cut him until he saves me money. Ebron... Really getting old. I honestly, pfft. Lane's just not a good dev. I think Ebron's got one more year in him, even though Ebron is majorly slowing down. The sick thing that happened um, that I got to explain to you guys, Corey Fulton. And this this had me so mad, like literally so mad. I, I was so frustrated. Corey Fulton lost his superstar. Does not make sense to me at all. Literally, he had a crazy good year last year. Um, this is just in preseason. Last year he had nine sacks, 13 TFLs, and 20 solo tackles as a defensive tackle, and they took away a superstar. It is what it is. Dylan Mackey still has his, which is clutch. Um, so he kind of retains inside stuff. But that to me was just an absolute sting seeing him lose. Patrick Sertan will not play. I'm still waiting for the guy to accept his trade. He has not been on, but Patrick Sertan will not be in the lineup. That is a complete mistake on my part. Um, I did not see when they said he was untouchable. My brain should have triggered and it didn't. My brain just decided to just not trigger. And yeah, now we have a guy on our team who shouldn't be on our team. Cornerback wise, um, Keon Cross and Fabian Moreau. And then I'm thinking the best way to kind of get Venable some plays is just throw him up here at safety. The rookie, DeMarcus. I'm gonna throw DeMarcus at safety. Um, He'll get a lot more attention back there, and I just think it's it's better in general. And then also Roman Underwood will play there. So I got two kind of rookies playing safety for me. 
Kick returner is going to be Rudy. Uh, I don't care. I, I feel like he could be a real freaking beast at that position. TJ Watt is there. Um, we lost some like some de decently key pieces from last season. Um, Lorenzo Carter, I'm going to miss him a bunch. Lorenzo Carter is an absolute stud. But other than that, I'm going to see you guys in week one. Week number one going up against Seattle. Let's do our weekly strategy. And guys, we're just we're hopping right into it. We got to deal with Dalvin Cook now. Uh, he did... I mean, we, we got to talk in the chat. He ended up giving the guy Miles Sanders as well. So for a one-year rental, that's to me, that, that that's cool. So it ended up being Miles Sanders and a fourth-round pick and Lorenzo, not Lorenzo Carter, um, Jerome Baker for Dalvin Cook. But that means we get to deal with Dalvin Cook, human joystick. Justin Moss, let's go. Plus one deep threat for my guy, the man, the myth, the legend, Justin freaking Moss. Okay. So that's all it is for um, upgrade. The team is pretty well how the team is going to be. I don't really like, I am so freaking excited to see the debut um, for Rudy Bowie. I feel like he's going to be a huge difference maker on this team. Just adding that speed that we just desperately, 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 desperately needed. Um, if we were to go look at his team, like I said, he doesn't have hot route master. He doesn't have gunslinger anymore which is a huge positive because um, those are real tough things. Russell Wilson's getting older. He does have Dalvin Cook now. Um, you, got, you got Travis Kelsey in free agency. Mid-out elite. Um, left tackle. Did he draft anything good? Um, this guy, rookie Connor, left outside linebacker. I don't think. Oh, he did draft a superstar rookie. Um, an 82 speed, 89 acceleration superstar rookie. Trey Flowers, he got James Bradbury in free agency. Solid team, man. Pretty, pretty solid team. I don't have to explain to you guys why I want to win this, but uh, yeah, it would be great. It would be absolutely great to win. It really would be. Good job, Dodgy. That's a good run. Got him. Let's go, Melvin! Got him, baby! The greatest receiver in NFL freaking history through a year. Oh my goodness. Good job, Melvin. Oh, and go for a run. Go for a run, Najee. Good. Go for a run, Najee. Thank you. I could just throw this ball to Juju right now. But I, I, want, the, I want the first down. Shoot. I'm way short. I'm way short. Go, Justin Moss! Come on, man! I see you, Justin. I see you. Good start to the free. Okay. Good start to the freaking season. Oh, gosh. I'm an idiot. Shoot. Oh, why did I step that way? I'm so dumb. Why on earth did I step that way? That's such a book. Oh my gosh. Really, though? Okay. Tough start. That play before, I thought there was a decent chance that we went, would be able to go up and grab that one. Good job, Najee. Thank you, Najee Harris. Okay, let's just let's keep it on the ground. He has not stopped. He has not stopped Najee yet. He, he really, to be honest, hasn't even been close to stopping Najee Harris yet. <laughs> Good job, Melvin. He's, he's trying to blitz everybody, bro. He's trying to blitz that entire team. And he, he was using that guy and just kind of just stopped. On third down, Wilson. He lets it fly for Thank you. Go home, Crossin. Go home, Crossin. Okay, good defense. That's a lot better defense. It's a lot better. Good defense, man. Good defense. He's clearly trying to blitz it. I don't, I don't know if that was a corner blitz. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. 
What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? Minimizing the... On second down, Cook. And he'll get this. Third and two, now Wilson. Shoot. Let's go! Good job, Edmonds. Okay, I if he throws short and gets it, he's got me. But I was at least trying to take away the deep ball there. Try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. Now a throw here to his running back. First down, here's the run with Cook. Good hit. Good hit at least at the end by Edmonds. Wilson. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 31. Oh gosh. Here's Wilson. Oh my gosh. Underwood. Oh, that was six. Almost. 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 Almost six. Okay. He gets ball at half. We get ball here. Uh, I got a minute and 19 to score. Hopefully, do something. There it is. Welcome to the team, Bo. Oof. Bo is little, man. He's little, and that's not usually my style. Back to throw again. Eluding the pressure right. Now he'll let it go deep right side. And that will be. I think I gotta go for it. I do. They're gonna try and throw. Let's catch Melvin. First down. Cool! Good laser. Four, three, two. Oh, good kick. Okay, he gets ball at half. We are up. It's so crucial that I find a way. Like, this drive to me is the most important. If I can somehow go plus 10, it would be freaking amazing. But they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive. They'll be left with a third and two. And he'll be stopped right at from midfield now. Here's Wilson. Flush to his right. Out to the right. He gets it to lock it. And Pat from the gun, it's a give to Yo, look at look at that guy. Tell me. Tell me that guy's worth a fourth round pick. Oh. Wilson now to throw on third down. Yeah, that's what I love. I, I took that safety and manned him up. Hoping he wouldn't realize he realized. Good job, Najee. Just throw it to him. Just throw it to him. Good job, Melvin. Thank you. If he's screaming, just throw that ball to him. Okay, I'm hoping someone kind of follows here a little bit. And then maybe I can get some running room with Harris. That's all right. Back to throw. Good job. Go, Najee Harris. Good stuff, Harris. Here we go on second and 12. Let's go, Justin. It's all right. That's, That's a good run. That's a good, smart run right there. I'm going to run here because I don't think he's necessarily going to expect it. Good job, Harris. Thank you. Let's go, Chanel. Welcome to the team, Chanel. Welcome to the team, buddy. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. This complete to Lockett. And he's going to... In catching the football. And we're seeing something similar here. Someone who runs precise routes has... Honestly, I just... I want to play just super aggressive defense. Super aggressive defense. And just, oh, my gosh. Six people are open. Six people are open for touchdowns. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is literally my best chance to win. If, I, if I'm being honest, give me last possession. That's... I prefer this over him taking the ball and killing the clock on me the entire time. I see you, Melvin. Okay. 
He's getting about 80 adjustments here, but then a run play. Because I, I do feel like that's the move. He's back to throw. He finds his target, Ebron. And down he goes. He knows I only have two timeouts. He knows I only have two timeouts. Oh, gosh. Let's go! 15 seconds. Oh gosh. And just I, I'm trying to get to him. That's that's the goal. See, he's gonna switch sides. He's gonna switch sides. This is this is something weird. This is something weird. See, he blocks up the blitz really well. This is what I could have done. Oh my gosh. Hey, that's some time. Now Wilson. Thanks, dude. Like I said, man. I wish I can say I was more excited. I am. You gotta, you gotta celebrate W's, man. Ba bam, fellas. Let's go. You gotta celebrate W's. And I feel like that was what I should have done last time. Send more pressure. The, the thing that sucks is the guys beat me in the Super Bowl. Three straight times. So can I really get that excited about this? Yes. Because it feels good. It feels good to have him 0-1. Um, did I play great? No. But did we get the win? Yes. If you're wondering why I wasn't jumping up and down, it's because I'm not going to give him the satisfaction. I'm not giving him the satisfaction of jumping up and down. Because I have had so many games where I have put up points on this dude. Put up points, put up points. And I always freaking lose. I'm not going to give him the satisfaction. Oh, I beat this guy. He's the best player in the world. No. I don't believe that. Oh gosh, GG's to him. You guys may see the Browns game in this video. You may not. I think you probably will. Um, so if you do, you do. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, bump it up, fellas. We are back. Got to stretch out a little bit. Stretch out the arms, the shoulders. Oh, going up against Browns. So I, uh, as I said last season, we have a new Browns user and we have a new Bengals user. Uh, both really, really, really good. So our division's gonna be tough. We had a lot of games last year in our division that were just pretty weak, like 6,000 to like zero, and it wasn't as easy. So we brought some good, some better players. Um, some of those guys, I didn't like, I'm not a jerk. I didn't like kick them out of the league or anything. I just was like, hey, politely, if you wanna go to a different division, is he is he maxed out? Receiving back, let's, oh. He, no, he's got nine, 10 more until he's maxed out as a receiving back, which is, which is a ways. Um, Rudy Bowie. Now this is the guy, man. This is the guy. If he gets a plus one speed upgrade, I cry. He's also tiny though. Like I really, really <laughs> don't always feel comfortable throwing to the dude because like, I don't know, he looks so small out there. Uh, game number two against the Cleveland Browns. He won first week. I don't have a lot to talk about right now other than the fact that let's go. Okay, first play, I'm going play action option pass. I just want one of those safeties to move up. God, ooh, Melvin Burris. You have left. I love those routes. Here he's going to expect run. I already know. I'm going up top for Melvin Burris for the touchdown. Justin Moss, baby. Justin Moss. Good stuff. Now he's like, yeah, there's no way he doesn't run on this play. Up top, baby. Justin Moss. Yo, we're just throwing stuff, man. Hey, Bo. Hey, Bo. Good stuff. Yo, his spin moves sick, though. What kind of coverage are you giving me, Cleveland? What kind of coverage are you giving me? Don't give Carson... Oh, Bo. The Bo. Heads up, though. Heads up. Like I said, every time that guy gets the ball, my heart skips a little bit of a beat. So, hopefully he's not totally ready for Najee. And he was. Oh, my God. If you can stop Najee on, on inches plays back-to-back, -back, power to you. Bam! Let's go, fellas. Thank you, Najee. Good play. That's why I love him. Mackie, the new Fulton, the undrafted Fulton. This is going to be like some type of verticals concept, I think. I'm manning up the two kind of slot receivers. Oh, that's a book. That's a good book. That's like when I, that's like a book like when I read Hunger Games. That was one of my favorite books I ever read. Hunger Games, the first one. Should have Melvin Burris right in the seams here, but... Yep, I think I do. Good throw, good throw. 
Let's go. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Justin. Okay, make a read, Brett. Make a good read. He'll drop to throw. Shoot. Oh, do we just throw a jump ball to freaking Burris? Make him hate everyone? Part of me wants to throw a jump ball here. I probably won't do it, but part of me just... Oh my gosh, he doesn't have anybody on him. There's no one on Melvin Burris. There's no... How? Of all people to forget! There's no one on Burris! Oh gosh. Dude, this guy's doing a hundred freaking motions in audibles. Oh my gosh, he couldn't throw a rock in a pond. He could not throw a rock in a pond. He literally could be standing on a bridge, the Golden Gate Bridge, and have a rock in his hand, and he would throw it. He could try and throw it and hit water, and someone would intercept it. Like, he could go stand on a bridge, throw the rock down, and it would get picked off. It, 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 would, it just would. And Melvin Burris doesn't care. Oh, are you leaving one-on-one -on -one with him? I'm going to give you two seconds to change your mind. You want to put Denzel Ward on him? I'll throw the bow. You see how he adjusted? That's why we got the bow. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Throwing the out route. Back to throw. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ooh, you covered almost everybody except Eric Ebron. Almost at Oh my gosh, Ebron. Ebron, you're not getting another deal. I'm sorry. You're not getting another contract. He'll look to throw. Look at him. Look at him. Think about Melvin Burris that makes him special. He's not just fast. No, he's not. He's also Melvin Burris. Okay, play man coverage, please. Play man coverage, please. Up top. Oof. They look for Rudy Bow here. Rudy Bow! Welcome to the NFL, my guy! Welcome. You should see a, a cool picture would be Rudy Bow standing next to Moss and Burris. <laughs> Bro, this is I. Oh my gosh! I thought we did. I thought we increased. This guy used to be somewhat good. This is a tough scene. They'll set up a throw. That swung out wide to Harris, and the stacker on fourth down. They'll go for it. And he finds his target, Ebron. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. You work on fourth down situations as well. Had. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin. What, like, sometimes I feel like I play Madden and I get dumber. Like, I, I don't, like, I feel like in a lot of ways I'm a decently smart person, but I feel like my IQ just dropped, like, a ton, even from just playing a game with this guy today. Like, I, I just, I feel like I have gotten less smart. Oh, Venable. Almost got another pick for Venable. Timeout, another touchdown. I think there may be some empty seats around here by the time the fourth quarter comes around. Yeah, I have to agree with you because this one's just about decided. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. He's going to try and go. Got him. Let's catch Melvin. Here. It's going to be second and goal. Bo. Good job, Bo. Good job, Bo. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are 2-0. Uh, good start to the video. Good start to the episode. That was a rough game. That dude, he said he was using a new playbook, but unless he was using a new console or controller or glasses, I don't think it, that, that was rough. That was a tough scene. Um, we're 2-0. Kill the like button for the next video. Peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're doing a huge favor and subscribe right now. Also, I have a second channel where I post NHL, MLB, NBA content. Link is down below. Go check that out. That would mean the world to me. Road to 200k on that channel. Thank you guys once again. My Instagram is at BrettBQB. My Twitter is TBarrettYT. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching.